let's take one more exercise in solid works sheet metal so this is your drawing dimensions in millimeter inner radius 0.1 mm material thickness 0.1 mm and scale 9 to 1 okay now look we have here top view side view and this is uh, front view and side view and here we have one flattened view also you will see this is our isometric view then there is one cross section cross section b this is the cross section so we will start with this top plane top view you will see there is a one thick sheet we will start with this sheet 5.9 see here these line now there is one dotted line shows this is the thickness of the sheet and which is going inside so we will uh, create from outside to outside 5.9 then there is one curve this curve radius okay it's not shown but the outer distance 13.5 then there is two circle 4.5 diameter and this curve and arc circle center point is same okay then this side view you will check 10.83 so let's do this thickness point 1 so i am going to start with top plane a sketch now let me draw activate circle and here draw two circles okay right click select now i am going to select one corner rectangle and let me draw one rectangle fine again i am going to start with center point arc keep this point and click somewhere here and draw one arc up to here similarly again choose and start center point click here now click on this line and move cursor and again click on this line okay now this is how we created now let's define now this is going to be 5.5 .5. now overall length 5.9 okay now we have to define center point so from here to here the center point equals to this one divided by 2 okay now see radius let me define 4.5 okay now press and hold shift key select both the circles make relation equal important okay uh, let's do one more thing now here let me choose center line and draw center line at midpoint okay now we have to create one important relation press and hold shift key select this line and these two are circles symmetric this is important relation now define the 10.83 and uh, outside to outside press and hold shift key and select outside to outside 13.5 millimeter and select this one and this one equal see activate here trim entities power trim just trim unnecessary lines press and hold left mouse and drag okay now again press and hold shift key select center line and select these two outer curves leaves cursor and you will see symmetric relation this is important relation and let me do for this okay now see this line is vertical now it seems fully defined a sketch now right click exit and right click and any command manager tabs activate sheet metal go to sheet metal and 
activate base flange tab now see now i'm not going to use this sheet metal also i'm directly apply sheet metal parameters thickness k factor 0.5 and thickness going towards down okay okay let's do one thing edit feature edit appearance and let me apply this dark color so that it will be more visible now see 6.5 there is one flange 6.5 and thickness inside you will see on from top view then there is one more flange without thickness uh, bend thickness 1.1 with thickness 1.2 from here you can observe So I'm going to activate edge flange and going to select the bottom one. Just move cursor downward, select both the side. Now here radius is too big. So uncheck default 0.1. This is going to be inner radius. Angle 90 degree bend. Now length 6.5. Now start condition dimensions measure from outer virtual shaft okay it means the center point of both the edges now here material uh, we need inside now look material going to be inside and also let's check the corner now look activate custom relief and don't go for rectangle go for tear and tear rip okay look again fill it i'm going to select outer edge drag outside select this side similarly disable default radius 0.1 r radius angle Bending angle 90 degree. Keep flange length 1.2 because this is going to count from inside. Material inside. See, we keep material inside. If we keep outside, see, it moves downward. But uh, according to dimension, this is one. And we don't need to define any relief angle here. Okay. Now, there is one cutout. You will see. 1.25 2.75 then there is one more cutout 2.5 and 3 millimeter and this is up to thickness because we are going to add one flange here so i'm going to select front plane sketch now activate line tool go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc and close now draw one center line center line is important because it's going to define now if you move or uh, you will see this door this yellow dotted line this is the center point of this line we will use this line as a reference vertical smart dimension now press and hold shift key distance from outer edge 2.75 and radius 1.25 okay this is still not defined so select this point tangent this is fully defined sketch now select go to sheet metal and select extruded cut feature and i want to cut in both sides so start condition keep same end condition go through all both say yes look similarly again for this face sketch corner rectangle because i don't want to cut this thickness i want to cut from here so the length is going to be two point okay let's define letter exit smart dimension three 
and distance from outer edge 2.5 but we will not cut upper thickness okay again the same thing we have to apply center line move cursor and you will see this yellow dot its midline move cursor to this edge and you will see center point so place at center point press escape key to out now make this line vertical see this is fully defined this sketch now again come back extruded cut okay we are going to cut through all okay now here look we did not cut thickness this thickness is still there now let's make this v shape just zoom in 2 mm then there is one section view b this is the relief cut 0.1 height 0.2 and this is bending line okay then there is two circle 1.5 diameter 5.6 center distance let's do this select this face sketch now activate line and start from some okay let me do one thing create one line here and i am going to select up to this line to this line now select this line and this line collinear relation center line draw one mid line to this line vertical mid line okay because i want to use this line for reference purpose mirror entity i am going to select these two lines copy mirror about this line okay let me close activate line tool and close so that we have a close profile now it's going time to define distance from here to here point 1 okay now this is going to be 2 inch a uh, 2 mm okay let's drag this point 1 look this is fully defined this sketch activate base flange and it is going to add up to thickness point 1 merge result look again select this face sketch hole let me draw one okay we will use this line as a reference 1.5 escape smart dimension this diameter okay 1.5 already defined okay draw one horizontal line make sure this is horizontal smart smart dimension now distance from here to here if you move outside you will see 5.6 inch look 5.6 mm activate extruded cut feature now here choose blind and here select link to thickness see this is going to cut only up to thickness of material if you select check enable link to thickness select right right plane go to features mirror this is the reference plane and what feature i want to mirror so select hole and tab okay look the thing is created now there is a chamfer 0.345 degree see these fl flange have chamfer and okay this is also a fillet 0.03 these two and uh, okay let's add these two holes also 0.5 6.25 and distance from outer edge here you will see 0.45 chamfer go to sheet metal corner break 
Now here I am going to select chamfer 0.3 and let me choose directly this face. If we choose this face, it will detect these two corners. Similarly, I will do for all the face. You don't need to choose age. Now, I am going to add fillet. Fillet type constant size 0 0.3 and let me choose these two edges. Upper edges. See? Let me select this face, a sketch. Let me make, let's make one center line. Vertical center line. Again, activate circle. Let me draw one circle and make diameter 0 0.5 inch, uh, millimeter. Press escape key to out. Again, let me put dimension from here, 0 0.45. Fine. Okay, now select both line and circle, click mirror entity, see it is mirror, now apply dimension, center to center, 6.25 millimeter, sheet metal activate extruded cut feature and here make sure we selected link to thickness, enable link to thickness, front plane, go to features, mirror entity, and feature to mirror, drop down and select cut, extruded cut 4, say ok. See. Now go to sheet metal, choose flatten view, look. This is how we make flatten view. Select this face, normal view, right click and from here you can make export to DXF now let's save this part any name faces loop I'm going to choose sheet metal and here what things I want to export so hidden edges no bend line I want a sketch also bounding box I don't need this dotted lines are bounding box okay now see, now save this one, that's it, exit, don't forget to share like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.